everybody, one of we's here a little after 11.30 p.m. Wednesday, and I've got Elite Gilgrad. He doesn't pop as much uh, as he does, but I uh, picked him up recently. He's got his base upgrades. We're going to take him down. What I did with my very first Gilgrad, which is, of course, the Harpooner Path. Uh, my thoughts at the time were just like, you know, the power hole isn't going to do much, you know, damage anyway. We should get the three shots on the harpoon and go through enemies. And while that's actually pretty good, I've determined later on, uh, basically in Giants, uh, I'd, I'd like to take the path that looks like the pose. And in Skylanders Giants, Gilgrun had an epic pose, and it basically said, Take Water Weaver, one of wisdom. And so I did, and then I realized at that point in time that that path was, like, fantastic. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do with this guy. However, having done the base upgrades, his damage numbers are pretty ridiculous. Uh, three times as high. So this should be pretty interesting and make your decision that much more difficult. But, uh, Gilgrunt's one of those characters people either just kind of, eh, you know, about him, or he's like the greatest thing since sliced bread. So, for those of you that, uh, he's your favorite character probably worth looking into picking up two of the elite guild grunts uh, that way you've got both paths covered and uh, you're home free but like i said we're gonna take the harpooner path here and let me get back to my spreadsheet of fury all right where we're at right now basically uh 240 to 360 box stock base upgrade one brought him to 288 to 432 and then harpoon repeater uh, basically, we're at a position where it just, it took about a second to fire them off, and now you can fire them off in about half a second, and that's actually a very significant increase, as insignificant as it may seem, but, uh, let's see here, we didn't Ready buy anything, another? right, that was just a cutscene? Yes, here we go. So, this is something, and again, you might, if you hate the look of that, that's literally what they're going to look like now, uh, then you would want to take Water Weaver. If you love this, and you could care less, you know, about Water Weaver based on the looks of this, uh, take the path. But they do physically change, it's kind of like, which color of Prism Break do you prefer type thing, so. Uh, quad and Harpoons, Harpoons do even more increased damage. Price, 1054. Keep in mind, my prices are funky, because we've got 19. Sapphires. Alright, so as I mentioned, there's that big gold harpoon there. I kind of like the metallic look. That looks like more of like a gold electrolysis type thing or rusty color. Uh, I prefer the traditional look. But 336, and of course, I know what that's going to be critical. Let's see if we can fire them off. 504, that is nuts. So 336 to 504, obviously, if you had forgotten... Gilgrunt has incredible range uh, with his gun, so that is something that made him quite handy back in the original game. You could kind of play away from the enemies uh, up until the point you kind of couldn't. So, Piercing Harpoons. Harpoons travel straight through enemies and hit new targets. I don't know that we can showcase this here. The price is thirteen sixty-four, but uh, when you... I think at the time I was going through SSA and I was buying it like upgrade by upgrade. And uh, this made a very big, big difference in how you perceived uh, Gilgrunt. So I don't think it's going to work here. But essentially, if this was like, say, a I don't know, skeleton or something, or a rotten Robbie, 336 would run through there, and then it would go through, and it would hit this guy, and also do the 336. So, uh, it's pretty significant what that does. However. What drew me in the most back in the day was this. Triple shot harpoon. Shoot three harpoons at once, 1860 is the price. Uh, it is every bit as cool as you would think. Fans of Fury. To document that one. Uh, here we go. So you've got just your standard look still, if you will, but you know there's kind of like that prong in the middle. Well, check this out. Dun, 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 dun. And as you can see, uh, they basically go off in kind of like a W pattern. I'm trying to do like a sweet spot where we can hit it. Not sure that we're going to. The damage numbers stay the same, which so that's like the one downside. But the fact that now you're shooting three, uh, and obviously what would be a downside in SSA, you've got like three chompies up here, and then you've got like, I don't know, what were those guys called? Ah, the Quicksilver Vault enemies, the Archean Shadow Master, or something like that. But say you're wanting to hit that guy, and 
instead your one harpoon is honing in on the chompies you're like Ugh, you know so this kind of fans it out literally in your favor um, I'm sure I could get to a position yeah, I'm not sure when you were Then press the tag button again to return to playing as your uh, And he does have the jump ability that I forgot to check there. So that's pretty cool though, and that is what she wrote. So triple shot harpoon is literally three harpoons at once. Same damage. So would have been cool if the damage would have gone up slightly. You know, with piercing upgrade? harpoons or something. Maybe they have like barbs on them or something. Uh, that said, this is the anchor cannon. Obviously, he's had her pose based on this move. Hold X to charge anchor cannon. Cost 2480. We'll go ahead and grab that. And I can't remember the load and time. I feel like it was pretty ridiculous. But now that this is an elite with three times the damage, the numbers should at least reflect that. <laughs> so, here we go. Basically three seconds, I think, but check this out. You can move, that's important to know, and he's actually quicker than you'd think he would be. Oh, come now. 1,008. Good grief. That was critical. So 672 to 1,008. Uh, that is pretty nuts. Elite Gilgrun is pretty great. Uh, and again, you have to remember, if you thought this had, like, shortcomings when you took... I think it's pretty much consensus. Most people would prefer water removal, but like I said back in the day, SSA, I took that. I still kind of enjoy this pad. It's, the main thing I like about it is he's just got crazy good range on uh, the harpoon gun. So you can see from here, I mean, if that was on target, not locking in on that, we would actually hit those guys. So he's got amazing range. We finally did it. We finally, did you then see that? 336 and 168. And then 252 there, so uh, do the side do that, or is that just based on the distance? Hmm. Let's see. Right here. Hmm. Let me try oh, the middle one. Right I want the side one too. That gun. Can I ever get it to do what I want it to, can I? Well, anyway, I mean, this. I've done so many Gilgrim episodes, it's probably ridiculous. But, uh, the main thing here that's awesome is it's three times the damage number, and I really like being able to jump and fire that off. I don't know why. Maybe it's because he throws his feet out like he's some giddy little kid or something. But uh, it's pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and leave it at that. That is Elite Gilgrim taking down the Harpooner path. We're going to come in, reset him, and I'm going to take him down the Water Weaver. So stay tuned for that. You can take those links to the top of the video description box to oneofwisdom.com or the Skylander Club form at skylanderclub.com. And uh, you will see base upgrades, you'll see Harpooner, then you will see Water Weaver, and after that you will have access to my exclusive attack damage number spreadsheet. So be sure to check that out. But for myself and Mr. Gilgrim, thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you back here for Water Weaver.